So guys, I just received my parcel. I just received my passport from uh, from the embassy. They delivered to my doorstep. So this is the package and I'll be opening with you to see indeed if I was issued. Welcome to Grace on Board. Hello world, welcome to my channel. It's Grace on Board. I am happy and excited to do a sit down video. The very first one since I came home for vacation. And yes, I'm in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm in Kenya. And I'm so excited to be back and find everybody safe and sound. And uh, it has been a successful seven months contract. It has been amazing and I'm glad to be back safe and sound. Yes, so uh, this evening, I am so excited to share my experience for the Schengen visa that I'll be applying. I'll be going through my Schengen visa. So, uh, why do I need a Schengen visa? Or how do you call it? Schengen, Schengen, I know. Yes, so however you call it, so long you understand the meaning. Yes. So this time round, I'll be joining my ship in Netherlands. Yes, so Netherlands is within the Schengen area. Therefore, as a Kenyan, I will need a Schengen visa for me to be able to join, to join uh, Netherlands, Amsterdam, actually. Yes, uh, yes, the capital city, Amsterdam. Yes. So remember, in my sign-off video, uh, we were in the immigration and we were issued a Schengen visa, though it was valid only for three days. That was only to enable us to exit uh, Amsterdam to our respective countries. So it was only valid for three days. However, since it has been more than three days on vacation, I require another visa to go back to work, which is Schengen visa. And I'll be taking you through the application and I'll be taking you through the required documents for a Kenyan required for you to get a Schengen visa. All right, so in every country that you join you may need to check if you're required to car uh, to get any necessary visa all right i understand some countries they don't require some visas for some reasons yes but uh, for kenyans who are willing uh, who are planning to join their ship their vessel uh, or maybe join in the Schengen area they indeed require a Schengen visa if they reside in kenya all right one of the documents that i really gathered for my Schengen visa in preparation to join my ship will be a passport definitely in any visa application you do need a passport all right and uh, like I showed you in Kenya, we use the blue passport. I don't know which, which blue is this. This is the passport we use. But before then, we used to use the navy blue one, all right? And then we switch to this one, the East African Community Passport, all right? So number one will be the passport for you to start your visa application process, all right? Yes. And then number two documents. I'll remember for my visa application, mine is for uh, Seafair. I'm a seafarer, so I'm applying my visa as a crew member working in a vessel. So the documents might not be the same if you are not a seafarer. If you are planning to visit, you may not require some of the documents that I'll be listing down. But I am doing this video as a crew member working on board a ship, planning to join a ship in the Schengen area, rather Netherlands, Amsterdam, Netherlands. So the first one will be the passport that I just showed. In this case, I'll be using my new passport since this one is out of date in Kenya so we're gonna use the East African uh, East African passport all right all right so this is number one of the requirements when you are aspiring to get a visa uh, number two as a seafarer you are required to have this book a seaman's book and for seaman's book you need to acquire it in the maritime school of your country or in some cases you may acquire it on board a ship all right so let's go to the next so tomorrow morning will be my visa interview uh, rather biometrics for changing visa it's a little bit i understand it's a little bit different with the us c1d visa i've never had and i've never acquired a change visa this will be my first time acquiring one and with that i have an appointment tomorrow morning and I will just walk in for my biometrics. But before I walk in for the biometrics, what do I need to submit? Yeah, so uh, 
the above named documents that I just showed you and on top of that I'll be showing you this is how I am prepared with an envelope so I would advise you a night before or two nights before your visa preparation you need to gather all your documents together to avoid inconveniences or to avoid leaving out some of the documents because I understand the last minute it it comes with tension panic maybe you're busy maybe you went on blackouts or something yeah yes so before you sleep make sure all of your required documents are in arrangement all right so you need to counter check before you leave the house okay so these are all my packed documents for my Schengen visa rather the visa to enable me to join the uh, Schengen area countries and in this country will be Amsterdam in Netherlands so let's go as a crew member as a crew member all right so these are my documents and the very first documents I have in hand is the appointment letter all right so this is the appointment letter and before you gather all these documents I applied my passport through a website called VFS all right so when you go there you create an account with them and then uh, from there you'll be required to fill your personal details you feel it's a very easy process and then you'll be prompted to pay for the appointment fee which is about 2,900 uh, 2,900 Kenyan shillings approximately so that would be around $29 all right and then uh, for the Schengen visa uh, joining in Netherlands uh, be required to pay 90 euros that is around maybe 12 13 thousand Kenyan shillings approximately yes and uh, upon finishing that you're gonna schedule for appointment where you'll go for the biometrics and on that biometrics day or uh, rather appointment day is when you're going to submit all the required documents and from there i'll be taking you through the next process after i experience tomorrow all right so we are starting it right here in the house and we're going to proceed the rest and i'm going to be taking you through the Shenzhen visa application until i get the visa in my hand i have faith and i know god will do it for me all right so after booking an appointment via vfs uh, remember this application I'm making it from Kenya all right so you're able to choose which country you are applying the visa from all right so you choose you enter the country you're from and then you proceed applying so upon finishing the application online filling out the documents you are going to get this form you're going to download it and print out make sure you print out all your documents so this is the appointment letter all right and it has my details and i'm gonna hide some of my details for privacy yeah so that's how an appointment letter looks like and uh, okay okay it's a two page it's a two page yes so this is my appointment letter that has my details my passport number my visa category and the date of appointment and a, a barcode or something in my details and then it has the directions of where the vfs offices are yes where i'll be all right and the transaction and invoice details of the amount i paid to book the appointment actually it was 2680 oh okay I'm not good in figures all right so the next thing you are required to submit with you on the day of biometrics will be letter of intent or rather letter of guarantee so this letter i'm not going to show you because it has somebody else details it was sent as one uh, from my company so i'm not be showing you this one but for sure this one is from the company verifying that indeed you are their crew member intending to, to join their vessel so they are requesting the embassy to issue you the visa so that's why it's a letter of guarantee all right so with this you're gonna get it from your company and you're gonna present it to the embassy because it's a one of the of the requirement all right so make sure you gather the letter of intent or letter of guarantee from your employer from your cruise line for you to submit on the visa day on the biometrics day it's one other requirement all right okay and then moving on of the other document that you need to bring with you on a change in visa appointment will be letter of employment this one you are familiar with if you are a good fan of my videos you are familiar with it's called loe letter of employment and for sure it has my details my job position and uh, when i'm joining the ship and when i'll be leaving the ship 
in short the duration of my next contract and then the port rather the con uh, the country which will be Rotterdam Netherlands all right so yes so that is a letter of employment you need to bring with you on the day of biometrics and then you have the insurance yes this is my insurance from my company this is my insurance from my company all right you need to bring it with you it's quite a book <laughs> it's quite a book yes you need to bring it with you on the day of interview of your Shenzhen biometrics all right so moving on and then we have this form remember we said once you create an account with the VFS, the agency that you apply the Shenzhen visa with, you are supposed to fill out your details and all those details, you're gonna print them out and this is a hard copy of the details that you are you fill them. I don't know how they call this form. Let me see, let me see. Because in the C1D visa for the US visa, we call it uh, DS-160, alright? So I'm here to find out what is the name of this particular Shenzhen Shenzhen form. I don't know. Okay, I need to find out the name. If you know the name of the Shenzhen form that you have filled out your personal details, uh, please let me know because I know for the US Embassy uh, form, we call it DS-160, alright? And other names, yes. So this one you need to bring with you all right so the next document that you need to bring with you is a copy of your Siemens book all right so we had the original one and this is a copy just in case all right so this is a copy of the Siemens book the bio page all right and uh, I'm gonna bring with me the itinerary so this is the travel itinerary this is my flight details for the next flight to join Netherlands all right so this is my flight detail I did a screenshot because I have it already. This is my ticket that indicates when and where and what time I'll be boarding the plane to join the ship in uh, Amsterdam. So it has all my flight details to cut the long story short, right? So, and upon having my original passport, I do have my, I do have my, a copy of bio page of my passport which is right here all right so this is a copy of my passport just in case i don't want to get stranded all right so remember i told you that l or e uh, letter of employment comes in three copies one for the homeland security one for the employee and one for the embassy so i'll be taking the one for the embassy so so usually usually it's written here uh yeah it's written here homeland security and all that so i'm gonna take for the embassy there's one written embassy all right so that one is the one that i'll be submitting so and that is all i think that i need for the Shenzhen visa application this is the first time i'm applying this one and uh i'm not anxious like the first one I'm not anxious like the first one but for sure we're gonna get there all right we have faith and we know god He's gonna do it for us, all right? So confidence, faith, and all that. So I don't think it's as complicated as other visas. So I think this is only the biometrics according to what I have heard people saying. But anyway, I'll be updating you tomorrow what will be the progress. And I'll be right back here with my visa, all right? Yes, so I'll be doing a continuation. And when I'm here with the Shenzhen visa to permit me to join my ship in the Netherlands, Amsterdam. All right. So stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Three weeks later. Oh. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. I mean. So guys, I just received my parcel. I just received my passport from the, uh, from the embassy. They delivered to my doorstep. It caught me off guard because, oh my god, look at my hair. I'm so excited to open and see what indeed is in the package. Definitely my passport, but I actually don't know the results. And so after applying for my passport and waiting for close to three weeks for my Shenzhen visa to Netherlands, I finally received my passport. So they sent uh, through courier services, Aramex, so they delivered to my doorstep, yeah? So I didn't quite see that coming, but that was very generous of them. So that spared me a lot of effort to 
go to the embassy so here is my package and i'm so curious to see if i was given the visa or not all right so this is the package and i'll be opening with you to see indeed if i was issued the visa okay so uh there's a uh, something there is a form and this is my passport all right there's nothing more inside so it's time to reveal if i got the visa <laughs> but i know by now i have the visa so i'm just uh being nasty so let's see if uh, indeed i was issued with the netherlands visa Okay, so indeed, I thank God for this and congratulations to myself. I managed to get the Schengen visa uh, for Netherlands. And uh, as I can see, it's dated. So if I could be able to blur my details. So this is my Netherlands visa. Yeah. One is for Brazil, one is for... Yeah, so... This is my Netherlands visa. Alright, this one. The one I'm tapping. Indeed, they have issued me with the visa and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Embassy of Netherlands. And thank you so much to my lord. And uh, I want to see until when, because it's written, I think in Dutch. I don't understand Dutch, but <laughs> what matters is the visa, right? Ah, so my visa is valid for 90 days. But it's only for transit since I'm a crew member, so it's only a transit visa. So I have my visa right here. My visa, my Schengen visa is out. Now I am ready to travel for my third contract. I am ready to board the ship, all right? And uh, taking you back, taking you back when I was beginning this video before I went for the visa interview, I'll be taking you back to the... I'll be taking you back to where we started this this video where i was showing you the requirements all right so when i went to the embassy indeed there are some of the things that i missed all right so as a seafarer uh there are documents that i showed uh, uh in the beginning of the video and uh indeed i'm gonna enlighten you on the documents that i missed so that you don't miss them all right so what happens uh for royal uh for royal caribbean uh, you issued a ticket for you to go back to the ship. So in that ticket, uh, I remember I mentioned something like screenshotting the document to prove, uh, like screenshotting the document so that you can show it to the embassy. No, if you screenshot, the fonts are going to be very small, so nobody can read that. So what you do to get the uh, to get the visible uh, ticket from your system, there's an icon written print. All right, so you're going to print out and it's going to come in bigger font your ticket i'm talking about your ticket in the crew travel all right so instead of screenshotting just press there print itinerary and then from there it can it will come in bigger uh bigger font so that you can uh be able to print out visible fonts all right and another thing that i forgot to bring with on the day of my change in uh biometrics i forgot to take pictures of me uh, in form of passport. So remember in every embassy there is a requirement of the passport size photo that they require All right, so if you're planning to go for interview uh, You need to find out what are the dimensions of a passport picture that is required All right, you truly need to find out. Okay, and uh, that is one of the things that I miss and for the same months remember I told you that you have to that you have to photocopy the bio page no indeed for the Schengen visa 
specifically Netherlands, they asked me to they asked me to photocopy the entire Siemens book. So they needed all the pages. All right. So I think those are the three things that I missed and I felt that it was nice and worth sharing with you so that you don't get stranded on your visa application. So I this is the longest time I have I have had to wait for a visa, but all in all we have managed to get a visa and I'm grateful to God and uh, God is faithful. God is faithful, all right? I went for the biometrics on 12th of July and today being 8th of August is when I managed to get a visa. So it's more than two weeks, all right? And so in this period of waiting for the visa, I would recommend you to be very patient. Yeah, yeah, you have to be a patient waiting for your visa and all in all, it's gonna come. Just have faith and pray to God. I am grateful for this day and now I am so excited that I am ready now to board the ship after having a wonderful vacation here in Kenya after having and spending time with my family I can say now I am ready to go back to work and spend another couple of months and come back all right so that was my Schengen visa experience my Schengen visa was for Netherlands because I'll be joining my ship in Amsterdam all right and uh, Amsterdam is in Netherlands which is in within the Schengen area all right so remember on my other visa video on uh, C1D the, for the seafarer for the US don't forget to go and watch and see how different visa interviews go so uh, something to note something to note is that for the Schengen visa you don't really need interview for the seafarers I don't know whether it works out for other type of visas but for this one they take biometrics from the agency so you just visit you just book an appointment apply online and then you're gonna pay uh, you're gonna pay in person uh, using the given numbers to pay once you're at the agency so that they take your biometrics and from there uh, they proceed your passport to the embassy and that is when they get to uh, they get to process your visa at the embassy and once it's ready they will send you an email they'll keep you updated wherever you're it's like tracking your passport wherever your passport is you'll be notified so for example when I finished with the M uh, with the VFS where I applied my Schengen visa from when they moved it to the embassy of netherlands i was able to get an email and when the embassy of netherlands finished with my, uh, with my passport they sent it back to vfs i was able also to get a message and now from vfs if you entered courier services where you want them to deliver them where you want they will also notify you and finally i got my visa my passport and visa at my doorstep and that was so so efficient i must applaud you vfs and thank you so much thank you so much for the delivery and the services you have done and uh, I must say, uh, it's not an easy journey, especially waiting for your visa. It's not easy because you don't know about the outcome. You can relate with me if you have found yourself in this scenario, right? So it has been wonderful. I thank God for this. And finally, I can say now I am ready to go on board. See you on board for the next contract vlog. And don't forget to like, share, like, and comment. So ciao, ciao for now.